Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm in a caravan in Kinmore Bay with my wife on holiday for a week and I'm just down the road from Brill and that's where a lot of my fishing is going to be focused on during this particular week. Rill itself has changed considerably over the years but on a personal level it brings back so many memories because from the 1960s onwards when I was a kid we used to go there every year for a family holiday and in particular I used to fish the harbour where the Cluid River enters the sea, the estuary. It's only a small estuary, it's not wide, but great memories. It's where I caught my first sea fish, which was a flounder, and there used to be a pub called the Schooner, which has long since gone. That's now a development area planned for the future. My parents used to be in the Schooner, and I'd go fishing on the estuary just across the road. Times were different in those days, of course, and I would be there with lots of holiday makers, and one by one as the afternoon wore on they would pack away and they would go off to do whatever they've got to do and I would always be there right until the very end in fact nothing's changed now the worst part of fishing as far as I'm concerned is packing away and way back then in the 1960s before we had tip lights and head torches and such gear I used to lie on the floor as it started to get dark lie on the, uh, the gravel alongside the river and I used to position my rod in such a way that it was up against the street light so that I could see if I've got any bites. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to fishing real harbour, real estuary during this particular week. And if I can catch a few fish, that'll be a bonus. But most important, I'm just glad that I'm able to relive some of those memories from all those years ago. On my first session, I fished the incoming tide, aiming to fish around high water. It was dark when I arrived. I started on the beach. Within a short period of time, I was up on the promenade. It was so light, I didn't even need a tip light, and I could see the rod quite clearly from the lights on the promenade. That was quite convenient fishing, really, not having to back up with the incoming tide. It was great to get my first fish. It wasn't a flounder, but it was a three-bearded rockling. I have actually caught them before from Rill Arbor, as well as shore ruckling as well, but I really wanted a flounder. Anyway, it wasn't too long before one did put in an appearance, and what a fish it was as well. I was really happy with that one. Caught on lugworm. I know that peeler crab and ragworm are perhaps more favoured baits, but I wasn't going to be upset if I caught anything other than a flounder. I was happy just to catch fish. So I was certainly pleased with that opening fish. And then right at the very end, as I was packing away, I banked another one. So it was a great first session. I only did about three hours. That's probably maximum that I do when I'm on holiday. But nevertheless, three hours, but very rewarding ones. In this session, I'm just having an hour over high tide, then back home for breakfast. That's the great thing about sea fishing. Although the rods aren't made up in the same way as a spinning rod is, you don't have to bait, you don't have to spend time preparing the swim or anything like that. Just get there, put your rods together, get your bait on, cast out, and away you go. In fact, I'm only fishing one rod this morning, although I've got three, uh, three hook lengths on it, so hopefully that'll give me a bit of a chance. But if not, I'll enjoy it anyway. It's a beautiful morning. And sometimes that's what it's about. Well, no fish, but just a flying visit, as I said at the start. I did have a seal pop up in my swim, though. And many anglers would say, that's why you blanked, of course. And I, and I can't see the point, whether it's otters, cormorants, seals, the whole lot. Being a naturalist, as well as an angler, the only thing is that I see both sides of the argument, really. So, I don't like to describe myself as a fence sitter. It sounds sometimes like you're trying to dodge the issues. But the reality is, I can genuinely and honestly see both sides of the argument.
anyway, I'm on the beach now as opposed to the harbour, just around the corner from the harbour though, and I'm going to see if I can get me some lugworm. I'm having me an hour just above the famous Blue Bridge in Rill on an incoming tide. I say famous, it's not anywhere near the category of San Francisco, London, New York, those sort of bridges. But for those of us of a certain generation, i.e. my age, we will know that it featured in a, a movie way back. Holiday on the buses, they go over the Blue Bridge. In fact, the old movie's filmed in North Wales. And I did an hour here yesterday and I caught loads. No fish though, just crabs. It really was crab city yesterday. And I've had a couple of casts already and I've had the crabs on the bait immediately. Assuming I can avoid the crabs, I might catch a flounder antope. It's a beautiful day and I'm enjoying it. And as always, that's what fishing is all about. First catch of the day. I've been plagued by these so far. They've all been dropping off on the retrieve but I've managed to get this one and I'm watching my fingers as well. It's got quite a, quite a nip on it, even though it's a small creature, quite a grip. caravan we're staying in is seconds away from the beach so I'm grabbing me an hour and a bit over high tide. It's a beautiful day where I'm fishing to the right of me you can see the extremity of Rill. To the left you can see the bay that sweeps round. Colwyn Bay, Old Colwyn, Towin, Pensarn, those towns along the coast and eventually you can see right on the tip the Great Orm and the Little Orm, the Clandidno. And because it's such a great day today, very clear, visibility is fantastic, you can actually see Anglesey beyond that. So, the wind farms in front of me, the coast alongside me. I've had a little whiting so far, and I'm happy with that because it means I haven't blanked, and I'm enjoying it, and that's what really counts in any sort of fishing that we do.